Hi there, welcome to your week 11, day two workout. Come join us for the warm up. First exercise that we have here is bird dog. So you're keeping your core as rigid as possible, super flat back, and then you're extending opposite arm and opposite leg out. Okay, try to maximize the distance between the tip of your fingers and your toes while maintaining that flat back. So minimize shifting and twisting as you transition between reps, 10 reps on each side. Next up is prone 360 sweeps. So your arms are moving independently here palm up behind your back, palm down behind your head. And then in the middle, you're trying to maximize that distance side to side by reaching your arms fully out. We're doing 12 reps on each side. first exercise in this next group is called forward to reverse reaches. It's basically a mini squat 
touching your heel to the ground in front of you, and then you're touching your toe to the ground behind you. So you're trying to get all that range of motion from the hip and the knee. Your back is staying pretty tall. I want you to do 20 reps, 20 front to backs, and then you're gonna switch legs and do that on the other side. Next up here, we have yoga push-ups. So you're going all the way down, full range of motion. If you need to do that modified version where you lift your chest a little bit early to make that up part easier, that's okay. In between each rep, drive those hips up, get the head through the arms. That's gonna help you reset your proper positioning when you go into that next push-up, okay? So eight to 12 reps, depending on your ability. If you can do a few more, go ahead and do 12. The third exercise in this group is toe touches. Your legs are staying up, your arms are staying straight. Put some weight in your hands and then at the top, basically think you wanna get your shoulder blades off the ground. So kind of the top half of your back you want to come off the ground as you reach up. Because it's such a small range of motion, we're gonna do 25 reps on this one. First movement in this next group is a single leg RDL. So you can have a weight in each hand, or if you just have one weight, put it in the opposite hand of the leg that's on the ground. Left foot is on the ground, weight is in the right hand. You're doing 10 reps on each side. The second movement in this group is a bent over row with a five second eccentric, five second lowering phase. So this is gonna be really brutal on the lower back. So really fight to maintain that correct posture, nice flat back. You're pulling up at normal speed, lowering down slow. I want you to do 12 reps here, okay? So if you just have one weight, hold that weight with both hands. If you have a weight in each hand, you can do it that way too, 12 times. The final exercise in this group is plank to straight arm plank. So minimizing how much you shift and twist, you're pushing up into that straight arm plank from the plank. Do the first half of your reps leading with one arm and then Halfway through, you're gonna switch and you're gonna lead or initiate that movement with the opposite arm. So it's gonna be 10 total reps. Okay, what we have here is a little bit of conditioning at the end. This is two exercises and you're only doing two sets of each. You're starting with wood choppers. So toes at the top, reaching high, and then you're chopping in between the legs. You're just doing like a quarter squat, maybe a half squat with the hips and knees there at the bottom. 10 reps, and then you go into five burpees. Chest the floor at the bottom, all the way down, and then jumping at the top. Remember that modified version is just to stand tall instead of to jump. You're doing five burpees and then you're doing a second set, same thing. So it's 10 wood choppers again, five burpees, two total sets, and then you're finished. Good luck. <laughs>